Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Hero. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of the series premiere of Fargo yeah. on FX. Yeah, Basically, cool. it's based on, on the movie. Right. Which is based on true events, supposedly? Yeah, this is like, uh, this first episode's called The Crocodile Dilemma. It's, it's, this is loose. They went to the Coens. They went to the Coens last, I think, mm. to actually ask permission for this. And it's not, it's like everything's, one of the, there's another critic who said it's like everything's tweaked five degrees. It's mm. not the same story, but some stuff you'll watch. And if you've seen the movie recently, like, I don't mm. know, the movie's old now, older. It's like, what, 96? 90 something. 96. Yeah. And you'll watch it like, oh, that's directly from the movie. And other things are like, oh, that's different. So you have um, the Nygaard, uh, played by uh, Martin, Martin Freeman. Freeman which is weird hearing him with that accent. His is the most, I think because he's British, his is the most over the top mm -hmm. accent. I mean, it's good, but he's. He's really playing it up. I mean, he's the goofy. He is the um, the guy from Shameless. I can never remember his name. Uh, William H Macy. He's kind of the William H Macy character. And then, of course, you have uh, Molly, who's kind of played by this unknown uh, actress who just does a really good job. Who is the um, Frances McDermott character that won her, I believe, an Academy Award for her mm -hmm. role. She did a great job in that. But it's just tweaked. It's not exactly the same, but it's tweaked. And of course, I think for me, besides uh, the character of Molly, I think Billy Bob Thornton here is just awesome. I think. Billy Bob, you kind of forget about him. And I think every now and then, maybe every five, six years, you'll watch something. You'll be like, oh, yeah, he can act. I forgot Billy Bob can act. Like, he's a good actor. I yeah. thought he was, he was subtle in this, kind of low-key. But I thought he did a really good job. And I love the, I was going to say, uh, the atmosphere, uh, the way it's set up. It's kind of fun. It's like just being in the world of mm -hmm. Fargo. But it's a different story, but you're still in that environment, that kind of dark Coen Brothers comedy, which I know you're not always... A fan of, so I was curious to see what you thought of this. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm still. I liked. I liked the episode. Yeah. I thought it was solid. Mm -hmm. I'm not raving about it like other people, right. but at the same time, like you said, like I, I'm. I'm not a Coen Brothers fan. That doesn't mean I don't like their movies. Right. I do like their movies. Right. I think they're they're wonderful directors. It's just the stories I think and characters they choose to tell don't really appeal to me. Right. And so. I'm going to wait and see some more episodes. I right. may end up liking this series more than the movie. But, right. but coming from me, that's not saying that much. Billy Bob is definitely the main reason why He's I good. like this, this episode right, or this yeah. show. And I ha I'm going to continue to watch because I right. liked his performance. I liked his character. And I think, right. you know, I think he's going to be able to play off with uh, Martin Freeman's character, Lester mm -hmm. Nygaard, very well. And I like this. Again, I don't know her, but uh, Molly, I think the actress' name is... Uh, Allison Tomlin, I believe is how you say it. She she was great. It's like, she's not Frances McDermott. She's not pregnant. No. You know, Frances McDermott is pregnant, very very pregnant in uh, in that movie, and she's not. Uh, they kind of give that pregnancy to the um, the other police officer, his wife, who the, was the one that uh, died. Yeah, the one that died. Yeah. Um, and I thought she did a great job. She's not quite as goofy. Like she's kind of serious mm -hmm. already. It's not so younger it's like, too. Younger too. So I mean, they're kind of. They're using some of the Coen Brothers stuff, but they're changing it a little bit. It's mm -hmm. not the exact same thing as the Coen Brothers adaptation, which is great. And we're going to spend 10 hours in this world. The premiere is an hour and a half. This is going to be 10 episodes, just a mini series. Mm -hmm. um, they throw a lot at you in the first episode. I mean, we also get to see a little bit of Colin Hanks, who, you know, I like Colin Hanks. He's serviceable. He pops up every now and then. I'm like, oh, there's Tom Hanks' kid. You know, he kind of pops up. He's, you know, a charming guy. He's, he's fine, you know, and has a daughter. And, I love that run-in with him. With oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite scenes. That's so good. That's one of my favorite scenes. He's like, you know, you want to go home, be with your daughter, mm -hmm. just just, just go away. Like, years from now, you'll think back yeah, on it. Yeah, and you'll remember that this is, you know, basically saying this is the time that you were going to die. Right, yeah. But you didn't because you made right. the right choice by right. going away. I don't know what Billy Bob was doing, though, racing around after, you know, committing murder. Right, we don't, right, yeah. Like, right. Why, why are you doing that? First of all, you're pretty, you know, not, I don't know how far that t other town is, right, but yeah. you're away. No one's really chasing you mm -hmm. yet, right. but I don't know why you're driving like that. I love too, uh, Billy Bob when he was talking to you know Martin Freeman's character like on the phone, and Martin Freeman was panicking. He's like, "My wife, she's 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 in the basement. She's in, and like he doesn't know what to say, and he's just like, "Have you been a bad boy?" <laughs> <You know? laughs> and he just comes back. It's it, it's so good. It's 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 just got that humor and. But it's dark, you know, it's got the drama, it's got some action. I just love the world. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, I really like Billy Bob. And you know what? You know, you and me are big Justified fans. Yeah, for sure. Billy Bob actually, and obviously he came first He'd be great on the for scene. That show, yeah. Well, he came first, but he kind of has like that Timothy All in Fun feel yeah. to him right. and Justified. Yeah. Just kind of that, you know, kind of smooth talking, right. kind of like, you know, he's, he's tough, but he kind of, you know, mm -hmm. tries and. 
you know, plays it off. I don't know. I, I get that kind of vibe from him. Maybe because it's on FX as well, but I, right. I, I really like that. And he's definitely the main reason I'm watching. I, I think also with Martin Freeman's character, Lester Nygaard, it's mm -hmm. funny because it's like he's a man who's, you know, being constantly pushed by other people by, you know, the, saying that he's not a man. His wife, right, right. the bully, and these are the people who end up dying. Yeah, you know? no one respects him, but no he's still around. His brother doesn't respect him. He dropped that big machine gun. Right, yep. And he's just like, look, you know, you're my older brother. I'm supposed to look up to right, you, you right. know? And he's just kind of a klutz, a clumsy. Even, him, you know, ex killing his wife was just so clumsily done. Right. And then you have Billy Bob kind of egging him on, trying to, like, empower him. Be like, you know, some guy said that to me or did that to me. I'd, I'd kill him. Yeah. You know, like that whole... Just matter of fact, you know. I mean, it's, it's going to be a fun combination with those two. And what I like too is that the cops, even though they have the Minnesota accent, like, oh, you know, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, but they're not stupid. Like the cop that was killed, he's not dumb. You know, mm -hmm. he kind of knew what he was doing. Uh, obviously, Molly is very intelligent. She was like tracking and looking and at the hospital, like looking at records mm -hmm. and asking questions. Like they're in a small town, don't get a lot of major crimes like this, but. The cops aren't, aren't stupid. They're not just, not all of them. They're not going to be like just made fun of the whole time, no. which is interesting too. And, you know, a very sad but effective scene is when she shows up at the dead cop's house with the yeah. wife and she's yeah. holding the paint cans that, that he had bought. It's that like, was great. Yeah. you knew immediately, yeah. she knew immediately what happened. Right. Uh, another character that I hope to see more of, he wasn't in it that much, is the diner owner. His, her, her, mom, dad, yeah, her, dad, her dad, yeah, yeah. Played mm -hmm. by Keith Carradine, who uh, was Wild Bill Hickok mm -hmm. in, in Deadwood. Right, yeah. So I'm hoping to see more of him because I really like him as an actor. And yeah. Yeah, I, I think it was a solid start. I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I just, it was, it did start off kind of slow for me, the right, episode, yeah. but, you know, but then it started moving along. I mean, it's good. I mean, FX is, I mean, they're they're changing the game a little bit in terms of basic cable, I should say. They're, I mean, they're a mini HBO to me. Yeah, and that, I'm sure you've heard the, some of the articles, like the, the president's very outspoken. They, they, they bid for True Detective. Mm -hmm. They didn't get it. You know, HBO outbid them, and plus HBO can do a little bit more. But FX, they push the boundaries. I mean, you watch Sons of Anarchy. They... And the Americans, they push it about as far as they can go. Well, I know, because I used to watch The Shield. The yeah, Shield's the Shield, one of my favorite thing. show. Yeah, like, you know, they, 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 really... they show the butts. They like yeah. to show the rear. It's like, we can show that. We can show the front. We can show the rear. We can show side boo. But um, they, they, they do a good job. They have, like, the Guillermo del Toro's. Uh, they have The Strain coming. They have this other show uh, coming out this summer. They, they're really, they have, I think, a miniseries they're working with, I believe, maybe Paul Giamatti's. And mm -hmm. they're really... They got a lot of stuff on the table, so they're great. They're, they're doing yeah. Good they're stuff my second favorite network, yeah. next to HBO. Yeah, so. they're, they're, they do a much better job, in my opinion, than AMC. Yeah, AMC has Mad Men and Breaking Bad, which are great shows, but like with Turn, Walking Dead, sometimes mm. falters. I feel like FX is a lot more consistent. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's what we thought mm. of uh, the premiere episode of Fargo. What did you guys think? Let us know on our website, mm. thinkhero.com, or on our YouTube channel, Think Hero Pro. Make sure to subscribe to that. You also find us on Twitter. Uh, Dennis and I already got a lot of your you know, questions asking us if we were watching mm. the show. You know, The Crocodile Dilemma, the new episode is coming on this week. Let us know what you thought of the next episode. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure maybe we'll tune in again towards the finale or something, see how mm. it all wraps mm. up and uh, what we think. So, uh, as always, you can find us at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin DE. And we also have a Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Think Hero Fans. Make sure you like that page and share our videos mm. on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff.